happy Monday morning, campers. So, on Mondays, what we do is we go from our week in numbers. I tell you all the good stuff, all the bad stuff. Unfortunately, it's December, so normally it is bad stuff. And I, do you know what? I hate doing these um, these updates when we've had a when we've had a bad week. And normally, I, I when we've had a good week, I love it. I can't wait to boast and tell everybody, "Oh yeah, we're so good, we're so great." Ah! And then when it's a bad week, I'm like, "Ugh." Um, Friday, by the way, all newsletter subscribers, I am really, really sorry. I didn't do an episode Friday. And I know what you're all thinking because I did tell you all I was going for a day on the booze with a wife and a couple of friends. And I know what you're thinking. It's a hangover. It, it probably was. Um, but also, uh, ah, I've, I haven't been ill for 10 years. And then last week I get ill. This week I get ill. Like, like yesterday I was absolute. Ah, just Anyway, I don't know what it is. It's man flu. I, I've, I don't know. I, I haven't been ill. I've been ill twice in six days. This is crazy. And so now I feel, even now, after this, I'm going to go for a lie down. Well, not a lie down. I'm going to go on the couch and just watch a bit of telly. Because I've been, I don't know, just not right. Anyway, firstly, I've got one thing to say. Thank you so much for everybody who's subscribing to the newsletter, mrselfstorage.com. All the cool kids are subscribing. Everybody in self-storage who's a cool kid is, excuse me, is subscribing. So if you're a cool kid and you're in self-storage, you need to subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. Honestly, we're getting unbelievable open rates. I think we're averaged this year 65% open rates, which is just unheard of for newsletters. So, yeah, thank you so much. Um, massively, massively appreciate it. Uh, if you're wondering what we do, I go through, I give you all my reports that I get on a daily basis, and I give you a self-stories tip. Tomorrow's episode, by the way, is going to be telling you about how Mansfield is doing. It's a little bit of a deep dive into Mansfield, a little bit. It is a deep dive into Mansfield. One month on, how are we doing one month on from opening? Is it where we expect it to be? Is it worse than we expect it to be? Are we happy? Are we sad? How does that compare to Clough Road and Willoughby? Because in, when, when we opened Beverly, by the way, I had no data. I didn't keep data. I was one of these people who did everything on a spreadsheet. I had no data whatsoever. Uh, that was in 2012. So I have no... So I, I can't correlate it. I can't look at it. I can't compare it. Uh, but what I can do is look at Clough Road and Willoughby, how we're comparing. And um, spoiler alert, we're smashing it. We are smashing it. I'm going to make a prediction. I think we'll do 20,000 square foot in the first year. 20,000 square foot in the first year. That's what I think will be net 20,000 square foot. I mean, that is a massive claim. Massive. But the way it's going compared to other sites, Willoughby and Clough Road, then as long as it, even if it just goes on their trajectory now, we should do that. Anyway, right. So that's tomorrow's newsletter. So we'll have a deep dive into that. Right. So what we do is on Mondays, like I said, we go through all my week's figures, um, take-ins and stuff. So let's start with the amount of quotes, the overall overall headshot of it, if you like. 67 quotes last week. That is really, 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 really. I'm going to say one more really, really poor. 67 quotes. But... We did 26 reservations out of them, 67 quotes. Um, so that is a conversion rate of 26 divided by 67, 39% conversion rate. So we did really, really well last week with the amount of quotes we got. Don't forget, obviously, a lot of, a lot of them reservations will have been from, um, from previous week's quotes, will have converted them this week rather than that last week. So, but... All it means is 67 week, 67 quotes. It means the next couple of weeks we haven't got a lot of quotes to go out in our pipeline. So then you start worrying about the next couple of weeks, how many reservations we're going to get. Um, so 67 quotes. Ugh, we haven't filled up a pipeline. However, I've got to remember it is December. Although, again, I've got to remember that my bills, expenses, repayments of loan don't give a damn if it's December or not. And so we still got to hit certain criteria. On the plus side, we was 825 square foot up for the week, but a lot of that was, well, all of that was um, Mansfield. So mm, uh, we did 35 move-ins as well last week. So that is really, really, really good. 35 move-ins. Right, let's have a look at, oh, I'll tell you what, we'll have a look at how much we took, first of all. In total, we took £32,890 last week. Mansfield was 1343 Wrexham was 2766 Clough Road was 5,877, Beverly was 4,039, and Willoughby was 18,863. I think this week we're going to have a bumper week for takings. Um, I don't know why. I just got a little funny feeling. I think we'll hit 
I think nearly 40 grand. <laughs> nearly 40 grand this week. That's what I'm hoping for. Reservations, total reservations, as you know, it was 26. Only one of those booked online, so that's a 4% conversion. Jack was at top spot with 10 reservations. Way to go, Jack. Awesome work. Uh, Angela was eight. James was five. Kitty was two. Online was one. And the wife was zero because she didn't bloody work. <laughs> right, let's go on to the individual sites. Willoughby, 19 quotes. Amount of reservations. Willoughby is crushing it, by the way. 10 reservations. So that's a conversion rate of 53%. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Willoughby is crushing it. There isn't a lot of competition around the Willoughby area. Shh, don't tell anybody. Uh, around the Willoughby area of Hull. But the great thing is, there can't be any competition because there's nowhere to open. It is literally, there's nowhere to go. If you want to open a self-storage in Willoughby, you can't. There isn't any buildings. There's nothing. There's no, it's not an industrial site. It's it's not there. You can't do it. So yeah, I feel very, 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 very lucky. Um, and by the way, opening Willoughby was luck. I didn't know what I know now when I opened Willoughby seven years ago, eight years ago, seven or eight years ago, eight years. I don't know. Um, I hadn't, I had no idea. I had an inkling, but I didn't, I didn't know. Um, and so a lot, a lot of success. You've got, my, my mate hates me saying this, but it has to go down to luck. You have to be lucky. And luckily for me, luckily for me, I am lucky. And yeah, you, I'd rather be lucky than good. And luckily, that is what I am. <laughs> so yeah, Willoughby is just a great, great location and will always convert good because of the location and because it's a very, very affluent area as well. So 10 reservations there from 19 quotes. Obviously, a lot of them reservations will have come from previous week pipeline. So I don't expect this week to be as good the week before Christmas. Um, 16 move-ins. So that's really, really good as well. That's an 84% conversion rate. So 19 quotes, 16 move-ins. We moved in 1,050 square foot and we moved out 925. So it was up 125. I know what you're thinking. 125 square foot in December. That's not too bad. Positive. Um, however, we was expected to be up over 400 square foot and we just got loads of extra move outs. So I was expecting to be over 500, 600, 700 square foot up this week at Willoughby. So it has to go down as a negative, only being up 125 square foot. The amount of times the rent, the looting was rented out was six. As you know, 1,050 square foot in, 925 out, 17 internal rooms moved in, 13 moved out. So we've got 335 internal rooms, no containers in, no comp containers out. Number of containers rented is 45. Store occupancy is 73%. We need to make a play on this next se next season, next next year. We need to get this up to 85%. That's, that's the goal. End of next year, 85%. That's going to take a whopping effort, but let's see if we can do it. Um, average sales per move information dice is £16.55, a little bit low. Insurance sold, we sold £89,000 worth of insurance. That's an average of £5,562 per moving. Again, we want to be at £6,000 there. Next week, this is interesting. Well, not interesting, it's rubbish. Uh, we've got amount of movings due, one moving for 80 square foot, and we've got six move outs for 525. Blech. Oh, God. I, I hope you realize how much effort I'm putting in. I feel like, bleh, and I am putting in a lot of effort in this to try and make it entertaining for you guys. And I can feel my belly going. Blah, 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 blah. All right, Clough Road. On to Clough Road. We're nearly done. Suck it up, Dino. Um, 17 quotes at Clough Road. So not, again, not really good on the quotes. Six reservations. So that's a conversion rate of 35%. We've got eight move-ins, um, which is a conversion rate of 47%. So the conversions are actually all right. 650 square foot moved in. Guess how much moved out? 775. And so for you mathematicians out there, that means we're down 125. Exactly what we was up at Willoughby. Would you believe it? So we're net zero across Willoughby and Clough Road, across Hull. Beverly. Now, I'm a, I am a little bit worried about Beverly. And you wonder why, because we are 93% full. The reason I'm a little bit worried about Beverly is the amount of quotes we're getting. Our competition has now decided to do paper clicks. I'm like, no. And so we are no longer number one on the SEO. So that has clearly, well, we are number one on the SEO, but with paper clicks, they show before us. So that has clearly affected where we're seen on on um, on there. We're, we're, we're not seen 
as soon as you come onto it, basically, Beverly Cell, I was thinking about something else then. As soon as you, <laughs> as soon as you come onto it, uh, Beverly Cell Storage, um, you see them because they're, they're paper clicks. So we might have to fight fire with fire and do paper clicks. But at the minute, we're 93% full, which is really, really good. Obviously, at the minute, why would we? And I, there's two trailer thoughts, and there's two different mentors who would say two different things, and they're both in America. One says, um, why would, if you're 90 plus percent full, why would you ever do anything on paper clicks? Um, and the other person says, wait a second, that's being reactive rather than proactive. My opinion is that I want you to stay above 90% full. And the only way you're going to do that is by doing paper clicks now. And I'm like, Ugh! and the easy option is to do nothing. And so what am I going to do? You're done, right? I'm going to do the easy option. And I know that the potential is for Beverly to go below 90% full. And then I'll be like, oh, right, we need to do paper clicks. And if I'd have done paper clicks in the beginning, then we'd always be above 90% full. And so it's yin and yang. I don't, I don't, I don't actually, on this occasion, I don't actually think there's anything wrong in it because we still did two reservations. I don't think there's anything wrong in both ways. We still did two reservations last week out of four quotes. We moved in 150 square foot and we moved out with 75. So it was net 75. So... I don't think, although, let's have a look at next week. Um, yeah, we're due to move out 50 square foot. So not the end of the world. Because it is a mature site, mature sites, you've got longer to make decisions because not a lot happens week to week. Where is an unmature site? <laughs> I don't know if that's a word. Uh, a site that's not mature, um, it's more volatile. And so you have to make decisions because week by week, it can be a massive swing. Um, and so because the chain rate is lower in mature sites, it gives you longer to make decisions. So even if I don't do anything for the next few weeks, we're still going to be around about the 90% mark. Worst case scenario, I'm absolutely sure of it. And to be fair, 93% in December, it's not too bad because we know it's going to get busier in January, February, well, no, uh, February, March, April, May, June. We know the summer's coming. And so 93%, we're nearly at the worst of it. So I, I don't think there's any need to do anything yet. And I can see both sides. I can see why one mentor says this and one mentor says that. But this is a beauty about it. I, I could make a case for both of them. I could make you believe that not doing paper clicks is right. And I could make you believe that doing paper clicks is right for this one. Um, but it's still a concern. It's still a concern that we're getting four quotes. We're number one on SEO for, for Beverly. And we're also number two. My Facebook page is ranking number two. So I don't know what they're doing with their SEO. But if you, and they've been open like two two and a bit years now, if you cannot be a Facebook page, whoever's looking after your SEO, or if it's you, or whatever, whoever built it, you need to be asking serious questions because you have to beat, especially in your locations where you're in Beverly, and if you can't beat a Facebook page in Beverly for my Facebook site, then yeah, there's something clearly, clearly, clearly fundamentally wrong with your site. You need it. I mean, I don't know if he actually listens to this anymore or not, but my advice to you would be get an audit for your website because there's something wrong um, if you're not beating If you're not being an aggregator, like compare the storage in your town, then there's something clearly wrong with your SEO. There's something, there might be a black mark, there might be, you, you might not have indexed things correctly, whatever, there could be something so basic. Get an audit of your website because you should be beating all auditors. There should be auditors, sorry. You should be beating all comparison websites. There should be, no excuse not to be a comparison website. Uh, that's what I love when I when I look at potential sites and I see um, it's like at Mansfield. There's 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 comparison sites outranking other sites in Mansfield. I'm like, oh, oh, brilliant! I know straight away I can come in, I can outrank that comparison site, and I would be up on the SEO rankings fairly fairly high. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, it's um it's it's a very very quick win and to turn your uh, I think people get scared of SEO because we don't, it's like go and take your car to a mechanic and they're saying, oh, it's, I don't even know what it's, it's your engine. <laughs> and you're like, oh shit, what about the engine? You have no idea what they're telling you is correct. But yeah, I think SEO is crucial. And by the way, we, we, we are now going to be able to find out what quotes are coming from SEO and what quotes are coming from paper clicks because at the minute spending a shit ton of money on both of them. I think it's 56,000 pound a year to manage my paper clicks and my SEO. Don't get me wrong. I think uh, it's more than 56. Anyway, um, my SEO is a majority of it uh, because I'm, I've invested massively into it. But is that correct? I don't know. Even though we're ranking good, 
is it all about paper clicks now? Because the SEO ranking, organic ranking is right the way down there. All the people scroll past the paper clicks a lot of the time. And so it'll be interesting to find out exactly where your quotes come from. Do they come from paper clicks or do they come from SEO? And so somebody's bit writing a bit of code for us uh, to bonk on our website. And so we can actually find out, right, this is how many you're getting from paper clicks. This is how many you're getting from SEO. Because what we can then do is focus on that one, that metrics. Um, what else can I tell you about Beverly? £6,000 worth of insurance sold last week. Um, so uh, that's an average, sorry, 12000 in total. Average is 6000 50 square foot due to move out. Wrexham. We got 10 quotes at Wrexham. We only got two reservations, which is interesting. Um, we moved in 60 and we moved out 160, so we're minus 100. Um, two move-ins. God, there must have been 230 square foot. It's bloody hell, mate. Um, nobody move in, nobody move out next week. Uh, so that's not too bad. And we have sold £6,000 of insurance. It's an average of 3000 which, to be fair, isn't too bad when it's a 30-square-foot unit. Uh, Mansfield, the gift that keeps on giving. Uh, amount of quotes, 17. So, again, not really good on the quotes. Um, reservation, 6. So, we've got a conversion rate there of 35%. I think something, yeah. Sleepy dust. 35%. We moved in 7 people. So, that's a 41% conversion rate. Um, we moved in 850 square foot and moved out zero. I had a look at the figures for Willoughby and my Clough Road to see if it was normal, the fact that we haven't moved out anybody. If you remember, we have moved out one person, but that's because that person moved in before we opened and only wanted to store for a week. And we said, yeah, okay. So in effect, we really haven't moved out anybody yet. And so we're like, is this normal? And so we had a look at Willoughby and Clough Road, and no, it's not normal. Willoughby and Clough Road, we had move outs in the first month. We've had no move outs in Mansfield in the first month. We are now 31% full. Incredible. 30.9% full. Nuts. One thing that I'm not happy about, though, is the amount of insurance sold. £23,000 worth of insurance sold for the, um, how many move did we have? Seven move -ins. And so that's an average of 3,285. That is not good, my friends. Uh, so it wants to be £6,000. So I don't know why um, why it was so low last week. When we did move in quite a high amount, uh, on average, it was over 100 square foot per move in. So I don't know why it should be so low there. So, yeah, don't know what happened there. Um, amount of due square foot next week is two move ins for 150 square foot. And we have one move out. We have our first move out, 50 square foot. Uh, so we're due to be up 100 square foot. The Google Analytics, and then I am bloody going for this lie down. My head's banging now and everything. I know, no one's going to feel sorry for me. <laughs> Why would you? Uh, 331 users for Google. So that is really, really low. Website visit, as we know, we had low quotes last week. But that if we had low quotes and a lot of website visitors, I'd be thinking, okay, what are we doing wrong? Um, is, 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 is part of a funnel broken? Are we not getting... Uh, it's something, obviously, it's very, very small sample size one week, but it's good to keep an eye on it all the time. 331 users, and we didn't get many quotes. So I always say that you should be getting 20% of your 20% of your people coming to your website. So 331, you should be getting 20% of those doing quotes. And that works out absolutely perfect. Uh, 331, so that's 33. 66 quotes we're supposed to get if we got 20%. And how many did we get? We got, I'm going 67. <laughs> so... Yeah, we're in line. So it's always good to check the amount of website visits. So we know there that the problem isn't the website. It's not the customer journey to get in um, anything else. Um, we know the problem is uh, the amount of visitors. We just need to get more eyeballs on our website. Everything else is working fine. The conversions are good. The every, Everything's good. But the problem is website visitors. And so this is, this is why we need to look at these figures because we when we know all these figures... We know what's right and what's wrong and what should happen and the the uh, the targets, the expectations, the conversion rates, where they should be. As When we know all that and it's not quite where you want it to be, you're thinking, right, okay, 60-odd quotes last week, 66 quotes, where's the problem? And we look at the conversions, we look at everything, and everything is, is running smoothly apart from website visitors. So we need to get more eyeballs more visitors. And I've been in touch with a paper clicks team and we're going to spend more money this week, basically. Um, and we're trying different things and we're going to see if we can improve it. So this, this week, three, three, one, and we got 24 reservations. That is really, really good conversion rate. So again, the website's converting really good. That's a 7% conversion rate. 
5% is amazing. 7% is just, I'm going to say it, fucking amazing. And so that's really, really good to the team. So the only problem last week was we need more eyeballs. We need more website visitors. <laughs> so if you want to go and visit my website, that'd be much better. <laughs> I'm joking because then you'd distort my figures and you'd ruin it for me and everything. And you're not, you're not um, uh, an, an ideal customer. I don't know, whatever. I, uh, I'm, I'm done in, right? I'm going to go sit down and I'm going to go and watch Finding D.B. Cooper. I don't know if anybody's watched it on Netflix. I love it. Um, I've been fascinated by this D.B. Cooper case for a long time. Basically, if you don't know, oh God, why can't I just go? Right, if you don't know, D.B. Cooper um, went on the plane, pretend there was a bomb, or was there a bomb? Who knows? And says, everybody land it. I'm going to let all the play people off the plane, apart from the people who work on the plane, and I want 200 grand, and I want four parachutes. How clever is that? Four parachutes, not one, four parachutes. And then he said, take me to Rio de Janeiro, wherever he said. And then he jumped out the plane with his money and uh, never seen again. So did he die? Did he keep the money? Oh, who's the suspect? It's amazing. It's brilliant. He's a bit, D.B. Cooper reminds me of me because he's um, very sleek, very slick, very confident, and just a suave guy. I mean, if anybody would sum me up in one word, I think suave is exactly what you do. I mean, uh, smooth, smooth. So yeah, smooth, smooth. See, fucking can't even do this right. So yeah, definitely, definitely. No, he's exactly what I want to be like. Smooth and suave, sophisticated. I, I, I want to be like that, but I can't be. I'm not. And uh, yeah, there we go. All right, my friends. I love you. I appreciate you. And uh, we'll see. I'm going to enjoy watching DB Cooper and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.